hi, my name's Liv. Um, some people call me Liv Dot. I'm a musician based out of New York, and I got into music, and I've been having a really good time since 2020. <laughs> I think my earliest memory of singing is actually on a vacation in Florida, and there was open mic karaoke kind of thing. I was seven at the time and I got up on stage and sang Black Horse in a Cherry Tree, which was kind of a bold choice. Um, and wow, wow, wow. <laughs> it was <a> good <laughs> and, and then um, I didn't, didn't really think too much about music on a basis um, until my bought me a recording session as a gift and didn't tell me about it. So it was a surprise. Um, but uh -huh. I had never really considered, considered, um, I had never really considered pursuing music, honestly. Wow. Uh, I was looking at your Instagram and you released a uh, uh, comfort creature, isn't it? Yes, I did. I actually like this format of of the of this like polaroid and the lyrics if you slice the the post it is amazing thank you so much yeah i i think going forward that's going to be how i put my music out at least the cover art and stuff like that i think it's kind of a nice little sort of thing exactly and um um regarding all of your music how do you how do you inspire? In which things are you based on so you can write and perform your music? Mm -hmm. Um. So, well, I would say that my musical inspirations are kind of all over the place. Um, I really love no? Amos Lee, Tracy Chapman, Chris Stapleton, Amy Winehouse, um, definitely Alanis Morissette, and that kind of. Wow. I can kind of get into the mindset of the stuff that I'd like to write based off of those music. Mm -hmm. um, I'd also say that if I'm writing a song, most of the time it's just for of the moment kind of thing. So it's if I'm feeling it oh. really intense, okay, okay. I'll start to write it down on normal post-it note, actually. Uh, and then I'll take a shower and when I get out of the shower the post-it note is right above my mirror I'll look at it again and then normally if things go smoothly I have a song written in 15 minutes Wow and and do you use also voice notes I do use voice notes yes I have maybe three physical journals of lyrics I have a lyric note in my phone I have a lyric okay note docs and then uh yeah voice memos definitely i'm all over the place <laughs> <laughs> so we can say you you do both physical and also electronic uh, like notes isn't it wow okay okay yeah exactly <laughs> and I, I was also digging in your in your website and i came across with your merchandise and i wanted to know if if you are involved in all the process do you create that that merchandise of yours or how is the process so i have a friend her name is Matilda preacher and oh. she oh. is an artist so every time i have a merch thing that i'd like to do i'll ask her and normally we oh. get there and we have a meeting and talk about what we see with the music and then um michelle's awesome so she winds up creating like the coolest things ever <laughs> and, uh <-huh. laughs> um, my merch is uh print on demand so that i don't have to hold anything in stock on my own which is great as a oh okay okay uh -huh, uh -huh. so that it makes it a lot easier for me it's very hands-on Wow, excellent, excellent. And regarding also within all of this, we would love to know how is one day of yours, including music? How do you organize your day? Hmm. So normally I wake up and I get uh -huh. ready. I work in construction. Um, mm -hmm. 
go to work, and I'm almost always listening to music, whether okay, okay. It's on my way into work, during the work day, on my way home. Mm -hmm. um, most of the time, while I'm at, I'll have a blurb pop into my head, and I'll write that, down, or I'll take a quick voice note, and I don't no. think anything. Okay of it too much until I get home and then I'll try to sit with it for a little bit and see if anything comes out and if it doesn't I don't force it if it does that's oh. all wow okay okay and also related to your songs um which one would you would you say is your favorite released or unreleased released uh -huh. okay <laughs> so released I'm gonna Say right now, uh -huh. probably Red Hood, which is on my first full-length album. Uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. Um, Unreal is the, the song I have coming out at the end of this month. It's called Why Get, and I'm really excited about that one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I wanted to ask you also for for that how how long did you how long did you take to to get a a song done since you are writing and producing how how long so, so it kind of depends on who I'm working with this oh, okay okay is coming out this year uh -huh. um I would normally have the song written in terms of lyrically and melodically and then I'd send my mother free a voice note and we'd try to get together at least once a month and work through the skeleton of the song so anything from like the guitar and the bass uh -huh. and the scratch vocal uh, and then we'd get uh -huh. again a second time and sort of build it up from there. So normally two recording sessions. Okay, okay, excellent. That's that's really good to know. And also within all of this music part, uh, do you have a cool experience you would love to share with us regarding, let us say, performing your music maybe, or producing or writing? Do you have any specific one? Yeah, so, um... The first thing that comes to mind is playing a show with my friend Squeeze Mason up in Montreal. Um, I got to uh -huh. the best. I've done three songs with them that we have out, okay. and we have a couple okay. more that we haven't released yet. Um, mm -hmm. That was really fun. They're some of my favorite people in the whole world, and to get to perform with them, um, it's a blast. Wow, and uh, related also to all of these, um, what is the usual process you have before gigging? Do you have? I do have a little ritual. So uh -huh. I'll try to eat a pretty healthy meal beforehand. Uh -huh. um, okay. Sometimes it does wind up including french fries because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I drink a lot of water, a lot of water, maybe like two oh. or three full bottles of water up to here, just to uh -huh. my voice a little bit. Um, try to avoid dairy the day before a gig and the day of a gig, just to kind of make sure that everything is feeling really smooth. Uh -huh. And then uh -huh. I'll do a little warm up session, maybe like 15 minutes, about an hour or two hours before just to kind of uh -huh. um, feeling, uh, and normally a cup of tea, and then it's show. Okay, and after, what did you usually do? I normally have a lot of energy after. Uh -huh. thing. Uh, uh -huh. Hopefully, most of the time, someone is coming on after me, and I always enjoy that because then I get to jam out to whatever they're playing. Wow. Um, I I might have, depending on where we are, I might have a drink, I might not have a drink, and mostly it's just connecting with the people who came to see the show, talking with them, and finding where they came from, or if I know them already. Oh, okay, okay, and also, you previously said uh, connecting with people, and I would love to know, 
what kind of message would you love to give through your music? Question. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I guess it's, it's just be honest. And sometimes being honest is kind of scary, but I think the most beautiful thing is music that's vulnerable. Um, mm -hmm. I know that music that I like to write and the music that I like to listen to. So that that would be my piece of advice. Just be, just be authentic. Be honest. Be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to cry. Those are all good things. Okay, okay. And finally, within this first part of the interview, we would love to know which kind of message would you love to to give to another person who is starting in, in this music industry? Because it can be really hard sometimes, isn't it? You know, um, this is cliche, uh -huh. but just have fun with it. I think the less worry about taking yourself too seriously, better off you are. Um, make sure you're making music that you want to make and that you no. think is cool. Make sure you're working with people who make who lift you up and don't break no. you down. And um, the rest will come. I don't know. Just have a good time, honestly. Wow! 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 Excellent! Excellent! Wow! Uh, really good advice indeed. Wow, excellent. And now for this second part, we'd love to play hot takes. You have to choose between two options and and also brief answers, okay? Okay. Okay, we can start with Gracie Abrams or Olivia Rodrigo. I'm going to say Olivia Rodrigo. Oh. Okay, excellent, excellent. Another one, Olivia Rodrigo or Dua Lipa. <laughs> oh god, uh, go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, again. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Another one. Dua Lipa versus Taylor Swift. Oh, Dua Lipa. I feel like I'm gonna get okay. that, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> by, by the Swifties? <laughs> okay, okay. Another one. Mm. Acoustic guitar or electric guitar? I think I prefer acoustic. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, which one is is hard to to play to learn? I okay. So honestly, I think both of them are pretty complicated to learn. But that's just my. Um, in terms of sound, I like the sound of the acoustic better, mm -hmm. and I. Am a little more comfortable on an acoustic guitar. However, the electric guitar can do quite a lot. Um, so I, you can't really go wrong, honestly. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Excellent answer. Wow. Another one. What's your favorite place inside the U.S.? I. Want to say maybe maybe Sedona, Arizona. I thought that was probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life. Wow. Okay. Okay. And outside the U.S., do you have maybe some place you would love to visit? So I would love to go back to Costa Rica again. Um, ah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, excellent, excellent choice. And another one, do you would you love to learn another language besides English? Oh, a hundred percent. Um probably Spanish. My grandmother from Puerto Rico. So I wow. think Spanish. Wow, excellent, excellent choice. And, and did you know a few words in Spanish? Just a little bit. Much. I used to be much better at speaking Spanish. Um, and reading it, but it's gone downhill since college. <laughs> okay, okay. And another one. Um, who do you have a a role model like right now? You look up to? Yeah, I want to say um, my first. Well, my, my second producer, Van Plating. Um, she's, okay. She's my role model. 
I want to be her. Okay. But... <laughs> <laughs> and and speaking within all of this, do you have a a artist uh, you would love to work with if you have the opportunity? It can be from the past. Also. Oh, gosh. Um, I have a huge list of people I'd like to work with. I don't even know where to start on that. If we're talking like something that will most likely never happen, I'd say Miley because I oh. think that would be so sick. <laughs> um, <laughs> people that, oh, also Lucas Nelson. I feel like Lucas Nelson would be a really fun person to make music with. Uh -huh. People who I've worked with before, definitely. Uh, again, my friend Van. Um, okay, okay. Probably, I, I don't even have to say probably. Definitely Anna Marie and uh, my friends from Squeeze Mason, my friend Will, my friend Matt. Make a song with oh. my friend. Those are, I, I think that's where I'd start. Wow, excellent choices. Okay, okay. And uh, do you have a place you would love to perform your music? Hmm. Maybe. Ooh, that's a great question. Maybe Bethel Woods. I'm not sure. That's the original site of Woodstock. I think that would be a really cool place to play. Wow! Excellent, excellent, excellent choice. Okay, okay, okay. And another one. If you had a superpower, which kind of superpower would you love to to have? I think I'd like to turn invisible. Wow, excellent. <laughs> 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 and, and what is the what is the first thing you would do with this superpower? Honestly, I don't know. I just think it would be a really good time to be able to disappear and then reappear at my will. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, also, <laughs> and what do you think about flying or or healing? Oh well, healing would be amazing. Um, yes, it's amazing. So would flying. I feel like both of those things are cool. If uh -huh. you're asking what I'd prefer out uh -huh. of the two of them, most likely healing. I think that yes. would be a very special power. Uh -huh. Just because I I I I found this within one of the episodes, an actress actually told me that, and I and I believe it is so cool, because until that I consider flying like a uh, good choice, yeah. or or like you say becoming invisible, and after I listened to her, I say healing was. I I agree with you on that. It would not have been a first thought for me, but after hearing you say it, that would definitely take the cake. <laughs> exactly, yes, 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 okay, okay. And another one. Uh, you have the opportunity to give a message to your younger self. Which kind of message would you love to give? Stop caring about what other people think. It does not matter at the end of the day. Wow, excellent. Wow, excellent, excellent advice. And um, moving on, do you what's your favorite food? Ooh, um you know, snack wise, gummy bears have been a favorite recently. In terms of actual sustainable food, probably salmon. I love salmon. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, excellent choices. And I wanted to know if you are more a day person or a night person. Okay. Okay. I am not. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm dead. laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I ask you this because I interviewed a couple of musicians and they told me that they got inspiration at late night hours. And I wanted to know if it, it was the same case with you. Yeah, so that I that definitely being a musician's trope. I will say that um, most of my writing happens at night, but 
terms of functioning as a human being. Uh, <laughs> I prefer the daytime. I am like a zombie at night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent, excellent answer. And another one. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite song right now? Do you have one? Or it depends. Oh, gosh. Uh, Wild Turkey by Amethyst. I cannot remember her last name, but I think this one is so beautiful. She sounds very much like Chapman on it and got some pop tones. To it. I think it's such a cool song. Wow, excellent. And, um, okay, okay, excellent answer. And regarding within all of this, also, do you have a favorite movie right now? Yes. Um, a favorite serious movie would be In the Wild, and uh -huh. a favorite funny movie would be Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, okay, okay. And, and do you have a favorite actor or actress? I feel like there's never a bad Denzel in movie. Uh, wow. Yeah, I Denzel Washington. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, Denzel Washington. That's probably my favorite. Actor. Okay, okay. Uh, and do you have a favorite movie of him? Uh, Uh, I love the Equalizer 2. Uh -huh. I think okay, okay. it's so intense. I stopped breathing for a little while, um, which I like because I can never figure out what's happening next in those movies. So that I would say that. Okay, okay. And I have uh, another one that it's really good. Uh, what would you consider has been your biggest accomplishment so far? I love that question. Um, I don't know. I I'm pretty happy with everything that's led me to the point that I am at today. Um, uh -huh. Especially because I never, like I was saying to you before, I never intended on pursuing music. It was kind of an accident. Um, oh, okay, okay. It's been. A happy little accidental journey. I I guess I would say maybe creating the record that's coming out this year, Not Your Friend, would be an accomplishment I'm proud of because it's the first record that I've which means that um, I knew about the recording sessions before they were happening. And I was like, oh. this record in mind, which means wow, that wow, wow. the record after this one uh -huh. is gonna be very thought out and very cultivated around those thoughts and i'm looking forward to that wow excellent excellent answer wow wow, wow. and uh, biggest fear my big biggest fear <coughs> spiders i had a spider infestation at my apartment last summer. Yeah. That's <laughs> how I feel. I'm really worried about this summer. I haven't seen any yet, so I'm hoping that okay. it's the same. <laughs> okay, okay, yes, the spiders can be... Okay, okay. <laughs> And another one. If you have the opportunity to travel to the past or to the future, which one would you choose? Maybe the... Okay, can I, can I ask a clarification? Uh -huh. Is it specifically my past and my future, or is it any time in the past or future? Oh, uh, any time. Okay, then I would say the past. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, and, and uh, like, like an interesting fact, more than 90 percent of the interview we say is the past yeah because they don't like a uh, future like you don't know what's gonna happen and past is is the choice they all it's comfortable yeah uh-huh uh -huh. wow excellent that's her once more and 
to also we would love to know if you have any other upcoming projects besides you previously mentioned so you can share with us um i do have a couple shows in the works i can't formally announce them just yet but they're ah. coming, so that's exciting um i do have a couple of projects with some friends coming out at some point this year so i'm excited about that too one of them might be in may um and that's i'm looking forward to Okay, exactly, exactly. And do you have a favorite social platform? Oh, oh, I love Twitter. I guess it's not called Twitter anymore. So, <laughs> X. Um, uh, if you uh -huh. want to get to know me on a chaotic good level, I would highly suggest following me on, on Twitter slash X. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's in it. Um, uh -huh. I, That is the social network when you can show your your true self. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And uh, regarding music, which social platform would you consider is the best for musicians? I would also say Twitter slash X. I most of the connections that I've made in the music industry have been because of Twitter, which is really incredible. <laughs> Wow, okay, 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 I didn't know that, wow, thank you so much for giving us, yes, yes, because I, I also believe that, that Twitter is not being, like, approached by all of the musicians, all of the artists in general, and I believe it is a good social platform as well. I think it's one of those places where you can have an open dialogue with someone on a consistent mm -hmm. Basis, and I have found that how I enjoy social media. I want to talk to people, um, and Twitter is the best way to do that. People are ready to engage. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, uh, okay, okay. And have you met uh, musicians like people more like within social media or physically, or is 50-50? I want to say that musicians I've met in have been friends I've had had on social media before then. So technically, I uh -huh. meet more on the internet than I do in real life. But most people I meet in real life are because of the internet. Bye. <laughs>